Well, hi everyone. As you probably know, we are coming up on our 15 year birthday as a church. That's pretty amazing. Um, there are times I didn't even realize or even believe maybe that we would even make it this far, but here we are and that's certainly an exciting thing and I am just so glad that you're here with us. And so I wanted to talk to you about something that's happened several times in our church, but it hasn't happened recently. In fact, I don't believe it's happened in probably the last four to five years, maybe even six years, but we're up against it again. And I, I, I find myself sometimes a little upset about that. And then I remember there's so many new people that haven't experienced what so many of us who've been around for a long time have experienced. And so God is just wanting you to experience some of the same things. So there's two things really I want to talk to you about. And those things are so incredibly important in the life of any church, but they're certainly important in the life of our church. One of those, you're listening to this because you're a church partner, so you already know that I have sent you some emails, a video before, about our church finances. That's one of them. And then the other one is Easter. It's around the corner. And so there's a couple of things that I would like for us to get to the point to where we just say, God, what do you want from me. What do you want from us as a church? As partners of this church, what do you want? Now, over the years, uh, the things that have happened, that uh, there's some amazing stories. And in fact, on the 9th, I'm going to tell you some of those stories. And for some of you, they're going to be brand new. And for some of you, you're going to be reminded of what God's done. But over the years, there have just been some, I don't even know how to say it outside of it, just had to be God doing something miraculous to push us forward as a church, whether it was a, a special day like, like Easter or, or Mother's Day or, or it was some, something financial, uh, there's been multiple times. And so we find ourselves kind of in this place at the same time. And so every time we've come up against something like this as a church, we do everything we can to do what God wants us to do. But at some point, I have to and you have to and we collectively have to get to this point where we just throw up the international sign of surrender. Like, God, we give up. We'll do whatever you want us to do, but we're turning this completely over to you. That's what this sign means is I, I, I surrender, I give up. And so you're watching this video and I want you to know that's where I'm at right now. Is God, this is your church, it's always been your church. And whether uh, we have everything we need always or whether this amount of people come or whether Easter looks like that, that's completely, completely up to you. I give up. Now, I'm going to work hard. That doesn't mean I'm quitting. What it means is I give up and I'm turning total control over to God. And I want to ask you to do the same thing. Now, over the history of our church, there's some ways that we've done that. But the number one way that we've seen God do more things together is when we fasted and prayed together as a church. And so what I want to ask you to do is I want to ask you to join me in a fast and in prayer during that fast over the next few days. And what I want to do is I'd like to start Sunday at midnight, this coming Sunday, April 2nd. And I'd like for us to fast together until Saturday midnight. Now, some of you are already freaking out because you think I'm talking about food. And for some of you, I may be. But what fasting does and what prayer does for us when it's a concerted effort of a group of people together coming together, we're saying, God, we want to align our heart with yours. That whatever it is you want, we're listening and we'll do it. Whoever it is you want us to invite, we'll invite. We'll go get them. Whatever it is you want me to do, whatever it is you want me to give, whatever it is you want me to reach out and do, God, I'm just going to align my heart and my will to yours. And then we're going to ask God, God, show me what is in me that is not in line with you because I want to be fully aligned with you. And then we want to ask God to challenge us to be obedient in every area of our life. I know it's a little scary to invite somebody to come to an Easter service with you. I know it's a little scary to think about tithing and, and giving your dollars and, and seeing those go. I know that those things are a little scary, but those are the things we're going to fast and pray about as a church, is our church finances and Easter as it comes around. You know, I, I may be more excited about what God's about to do than I have been in a long time. And if I could just be dead honest with you, I need that. 
My spiritual life needs that. And my guess is, is that yours does too. For God to draw us back in and do something amazing once again among the people of Rock Point Church. And so I'm super excited to tell you about this. So uh, the, uh, we're going to give you the information and th about what the fast is. I want you to know that I'm going to lead the way. That I've chosen the fast that I feel like is the most difficult to do. And I'm going to lead the way. And you're welcome to join me in that, but I want you to know you don't have to. So we want to share with you a couple of different fasts for different levels of whether you're um, on staff or whether you're a leader, whether you're a partner, whether you're a kid. And I want us to teach our kids uh, some great principles about this and teach them to grow up trusting God and surrendering to God themselves. And so I'm asking you to join me in this starting this coming Sunday night at midnight, which basically for us means Monday morning. So eat you some pizza or do whatever it is you're going to do. And then Monday morning when you wake up, we're off and running to Saturday night before we come back to church together. And then on the 9th, we're going to celebrate our birthday. We're going to celebrate 15 years together of what God has done. And you know what I'm praying? I'm praying that as we celebrate, there will once again be a brand new story around Rock Point about what God did. And you're going to be a part of it. So I can't wait. I can't wait for you to get the information. And it, whether you're watching this in a leaders meeting or whether or not you are reading, watching this in an email and you're about to download what I'm sending you, one way or the other, we've given you the information and we're asking you to go with us. Rock Point, I just love you. And my job is to help lead your heart towards God. And so with everything in me, that's what I'm about to do. And I'm asking you and challenging you to give something up and go with us so that God will do something big and amazing. And we'll be able to tell this story one day on a future birthday of what God did. I love you dearly. Thanks so much for watching.